You can build a custom USB media dial with Adafruit StemaQT Rotary Encoder in CircuitPython. We redesigned our original project to fit the Adafruit StemaQT Rotary Encoder and a Cutie Pie RP2040. It's set up as a USB controller to play media and adjust the volume of our speakers. You can single click to play and pause media, double click to skip to the next track. The electronics are housed in our 3D printed SnapFit enclosure that features a new design. The knob features a built-in LED diffuser with textured knurling on the outer edge. We use the filament swap technique to make a multi-material print so there's no need for a multi-extruder. Rotary encoders are tedious to use in projects with all those wired connections, but these days we really like using Adafruit StemaQT rotary encoder breakouts. You can plug them into a cutie pie with the StemaQT cable so you don't need to solder. The circuit is much easier to put together, we just need three connections for the NeoPixel strip. With the StemaQT rotary encoder, it's easy to code I2C devices using the Adafruit Seesaw library for CircuitPython. We've made it easy to change the USB HID key codes in the top of the code. Just add your desired keyboard shortcuts or media controls in the variables. In the code, whenever the encoder detects a turn, the NeoPixels will cycle through a color wheel. We think it's a nice upgrade from our previous project and it's a lot easier to customize. Our CAD files are open source and free to download. We also have 3D models of Adafruit breakout boards so you can use them in your projects. We thought it'd be interesting to use it on an iOS device for video editing. It feels more ergonomic and you get that tactile feel when doing precise edits. You can actually get a lot of functionality out of the rotary encoder, especially with multiple clicks and a long press. We hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit's StemaQT rotary encoder and CircuitPython for your next USB HID project.